So we've been staying, because you know I'm a science fiction fan, in the airship. <laughs> Let's look at this. I'll, I'll give you a little look inside as well. But this is, we're on the Scottish mainland and over there is the Isle of Mull. And that's, I don't know if you can see there, a little village called Tobermory, you might have heard of. So we've been in here for about four days. And there's three apartments, if you can call them that, on this site by a, an architect. I'll try and find the links and put links to his work because all of them are quirky. But this is the airship. I'll just show you from the other side. Yeah, look at the, the portals. And yes, log fire inside. And honestly, every morn, well, I mean, every day we've seen herds of deer, but you see the deer just walking along there when you wake up. That's the other side. So on a night time, man, it's just, I'll put some night time pictures on in. It's just, it's so cozy. But come in, please. So this is the airship. Nice little writing desk. And there's a comments book. And someone actually in the comments book just said they had like model aeroplanes and just spent <laughs> building model aeroplanes, his husband. But how cool is that for a writing desk? Do you know what I mean if this could be an office? And you know what I mean? The, goes right up, nice wooden ceiling, but it's all fabricated, lovely. Do you know what I mean? It's, like, it's, it's almost like 180 surround. So there's the bed. And like you see, it's got portholes. You can, so you can just wake up in the morning and just look out onto the, the island. You walk through and this is the living room come kitchen. I think that goes, we didn't use it, but that goes into a double bed as well. And I mean, it's all just little quality things. You know, check the price of these dab radios, the chairs. What else was it? You know, there's a lovely coffee machine there. That, honestly, I'm going to get one of them. These little tea file things were just fab. So that's the kitchen. Again, with the portals in log fire and two chairs and just on a night time just sitting we did have the you know i mean it's it's kind of getting on me there now but we did have the fire on a night time more just kind of have that lovely feel and then there's i don't know if this is locked Can I get out? and then this is where we have our coffee in the mornings just sitting down <laughs> i mean listen to it just gorgeous and we've had amazing weather red hot sunshine through the day today has been the first day where it's rained but we're, we're on our way back we're going to edinburgh now for a day but that's you know let's just show you oh, and there's a bathroom shower area So the shower's just all, and it's all like aluminium, but it's it's so nicely fabricated. Do you know what I mean? It's just so good. And now this is called Airship Number Two, so I don't know if there's actually another one somewhere in the in the, in the world. But all these magazines is the gentleman that designed this has got featured in magazines. He's been featured as well. Let's just see if I can. There's a. This is somewhere there. The Times newspaper. He was featured in the Times. And I think he built a library after a fire or a, an art bill. I forget which one, to be honest, but that's his card there. I mean, look at this. That's the picture. But all now the trees have grown up around it. You know, but that's the, the place if he's ever wanting to come thoroughly enjoyed it honestly just go just so relaxing look at that curve on here honestly my imagination just ran wild 
So, I mean, this is <laughs> this could be going to Alpha Centauri any day of the week. I could do that. There we go. One more little look from outside this glorious. It's it's like in mean, the vintage looking quiche, you know what I mean? Like airships of the what the future we thought the future was gonna look like. Look at that man. How cool is that? Again, you just it's the silence. And I mean, we, when you to try and get here, you know, it took, let's say, we, we drove for two days. It was probably about eight hours all traveling. But this last hour, two hours, you hardly seen a soul on these little B roads. Just one road here. There we go. Right. Take good care from a gorgeous little retreat.